Carpetbagger here along with Jen. Hi. Coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Atlanta. Atlanta. Georgia here at the Pullman Yards. It's summer here. We apparently wandered into some sort of food festival. This was not was not our intention. Yeah, it's very warm today. It's 80. It's 80 degrees? Yeah. Oh, summer is here in hot Atlanta. Last time it was cold Atlanta when we went to go see pandas. Yeah, we came out here. When was that? That was... March? That in, oh, January. It's January. Perfect. I know. No, Back in January, we came out here to the Pullman Yards. We did the Jurassic Park exhibition that I'm was here. You're actually, I think you're wearing the same shirt you wore. No. Last time I wore my Christmas sweater. You wore your Christmas sweater. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're wearing a different dinosaur yes. theme shirt today. We are back here at the Pullman Yards, not for this random food festival that we've stumbled in. It smells really but good. But to go I'm to the Balloon Museum. And maybe the food festival. Yeah. We want to grab some food? I'm hungry. We got tickets to the Balloon Museum. The Balloon Museum! Do you like balloons? I do. You're a fan <laughs> of balloons? Yeah. A lot of people are afraid of balloons. Why? Because they make weird squeaking noises? Yeah, and they pop like this unexpected. Oh yeah, you never know. Like you always have to be like careful. Yeah. We no, have, I really like balloons. This is a temporary exhibit. You can see there's like giant balloon tentacles coming out of the building there. Oh, it's really cool. Remember when it was Sierra's fake birthday? His niece and I bought her a balloon for her birthday and she got all these elaborate presents and that was her one favorite. Oh yeah, yeah, my my, my niece. My niece balloon. we had a we had a fake birthday for it because no one saw her on her birthday. And she Loved the balloon. Kids love balloons. Something, something no, about balloons and kids. No, but still, I told you, like, we were grocery shopping the other day and there was this T Rex balloon, and I was like, Can I get the balloon? He's like, What are you going to do with that? I'm like, I don't know, it's a balloon. <laughs> so, apparently, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about the balloon museum. I do expect to learn a lot about balloons, or maybe not. I think it is an artistic display. I, was say, I think it's more like of fun balloons. with balloons. Fun with balloons. We'll see. Or I, well, maybe it's the history of balloons. I, I have a habit. I don't dig too deep into things before I show up because I want to be surprised. I want no spoilers. Surprise for, balloons! Surprise. There's lots of balloons. I do see there. there's people walking with balloons, some children no, with I, balloons I, I around us. I get a balloon. Yeah. I hope you get a balloon. We'll, yeah. we'll see. Please. If it's only for children, I'm going to like... You're going to get sad? No, I'm going to like hunker down and like crawl. Like, kind of at the kind of at the Unicorn World when we had to ask for the magic coins. Yeah, I they had didn't, to go back. They didn't give it to us automatically. No, I'm like, I want my magic coin. I want my Unicorn Slap bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please I know. follow us. Oh, here is the Elko Hall, which is the bar here at uh, Pullman. I still think that's Pullman Yard. Amazing. So someone told me that it's not even a pun. That oh. an alcohol is an actual function of the train oh. train yard. Oh. I still think it's a pun though. No, I think so the alco. See, it says alco hall there, but I do love they have these giant balloon tentacles coming out Look from the, the hall. Yeah, and there's some wonderful, wonderfully bizarre creature here. This is the space where the balloon museum is. This is where the Jurassic Park exhibition was. Looks like we got people lining up. We got this wonderful inflatable balloon monster here. I love it. That's a thing of beauty. Yeah, we may have picked a busy day to come to the Balloon Museum. Lots of people lining up here wanting to experience the balloons inside. Yeah, I just love this guy here with all the eyeballs and smiles and hands. Okay, it looks like people are lining up back here trying to find our place in line. Okay, let's see what... Uh, carpet we follow here. You guys are waiting in line here for the Balloon Museum. We have some shoe shoe covers. We gotta cover up our shoes. I guess that is a way to protect the balloons from our feet. Alright Jen. What are these? These are shoe covers. Oh. You gotta put them on your on your feet. On your shoesies? Just to, I guess to protect the balloons oh. from your smelly feet. Oh no. <laughs> They're like little hair It looks like us here on the blue line are starting to head in. All right, headed in. It does say no firearms because that could pop the balloons. All right, here inside the balloon museum, we can see the map here of all the different balloon you sculptures. Go to the left or the right up there, we gotta get up there too. Oh, all right. okay. oh, we're heading into some sort of strange tunnel here. I'm going to fall out of here. Oh, we're, oh, look at this. 
That's pretty cool. So we can go to the left. Oh, look at this tunnel here. Oh, this is this is okay. This is pretty fun. You okay? This is almost like a high concept vortex tunnel here in some ways. You okay, Jen? It's pretty neat. You got your shoe. Your I'm afraid I'm gonna your fall. Shoe mittens. The little slick here on the floor with the shoe mittens. Don't do that. You will fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you literally just almost fell. Yes. Well, I was still like dizzy from doing this, and then I saw this. And, yeah. yeah, as you walk up, as you're looking up and walking, really is disorientating. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. No, it really is disorienting, and I'm not slippery here, and that's not my feet. So. Oh, you can see the colors change. It's very it makes it, it makes it Ooh. Ooh, it's dark for now. It's like being in spin. Oh yeah, it's turning into. Oh, you can't even see there any... me. Ah! Ah! Jump scare. <laughs> All right, important notice here: please not touch or climb on the artwork. You got that, Jen? So you want me to pop them up? Oh my gosh, don't pop any balloons. That would be so embarrassing. You want me to punch them and pop them? Don't do that. Okay, no pop. All right, let's see what is in here. Ooh. All right, so I got like a hallway. It's like a disco ball. Uh, look at the balloons there. I want to touch them. You want to touch them? Yeah. You mustn't touch them. I want to. The lady was very, very clear about that. <laughs> no touching of the balloons. But this is, yeah, there's some some soothing noise, some birds tweeting. Can we redesign in here. our bedroom last night? You want this to be our bedroom? Yeah, we'll put the bed here. You think you could sleep in here? I don't know. It sounds like. I feel like since I moved, there's so many new bird noises. Yeah. So like when it's like 7 a.m. and I'm like half awake, like it sounds like this. Yeah. And so I have balloons. Oh. All right, what's behind curtain number two? Oh, it's a tree that's growing out of this cluster of balloons here really from like the ceiling. It reminds me of Macy's red balloon. People taking their photo here in front of the balloon tree. like a big caterpillar made of inner tubes. I want to dive in it. Like, ooh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Weird. It's alive. Alive. Oh, that's really cool. It is breathing. It's breathing? Oh, yeah, it's making like kind of a, a breathing noise. into the tube here. Is it like the starlight pit? I know. What's that? Oh, you can see all the way to the other side. That's really cool. Oh, now it's moving. Oh, weird. It like moves in different patterns. The pool? I think I think the hole's too big. That's true. Yeah, probably. Oh my goodness. That's seriously really amazing. No, it's really, really cool. It's pretty stunning. That's kind of this ominously like move music. Almost sounds like Jen said something like breathing. Oh yeah, it's going through all sorts of different formations. This hanging from the ceiling, these sculptures are called the floating giants here. What's going on in this in this room right here? 
There's a big giant ball moving around in there. So we'll get in line and find out. Oh yeah, look at that. What's even, what's even happening in here? Oh, people are pushing. Okay, you can interact with it. Oh, I'm excited to go in. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna head in here in a minute. Interact with this big weird ball. Oh, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty giant. I don't know how it's floating. I don't know if it's like magnetized or attaching to the wall somehow. All right, so I guess we just get in here and push the giant balloon. Oh, it's going away from me. Follow it until it comes hurling back. Oh, here it comes. Oh, getting close. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh it's gonna crush me. It's gonna, it's gonna crush. Careful, Jen. Careful, Jen. Watch out. Oh, kids. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Here comes, Jen. Here comes. All on you, Jen. Get it, Jacob. It's like getting the charcoal from the wall onto the oh, balloon. The, the charcoal is actually on the ball. Yeah, I didn't realize the little that. Charcoal nodules. Oh no, it's coming. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it outside of the big ballroom. I guess these children are just clawing for help trying to escape the giant ball. Help. All right, so we got the washing station, which consists, consists of one bottle of hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you need to do like your arms, like. Oh, there's two bottles. Two bottles of hand sanitizer? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You getting washed up there? Yeah, I'm trying to. Turning into like a gray now, the foam. All right, and from that madness, we head into here. See these uh, tubes of balloon, these purple tubes of balloon. Reminds me of like the Cheshire cat's tail. My forehead. Oh, you got charcoal on your forehead? 
Oh yes, here we are. Look at the size of this ball pit. Oh my goodness. I must go all the way down in order to get in. Get in? Yeah. It's really deep. I saw someone get in and they went under. No, yeah, that's why I don't know so, if I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure make sure nothing is in my yeah, pocket. Yeah, I'm holding your big wad over there. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Godspeed. Oh my god! Are you okay? I'm okay. Just look at this. I've never been in a ball pit quite this intense. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you seem like you could lose people in here. Hey, look at the kids struggling for life. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, you can see like, it's like musical effects along the walls. There's balls on the ceiling as well. Then lots of balls here in the pool. You can see this is very deep, very deeper than any ball pit I've ever been. And I've been probably in more ball pits. Let me see your average person. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you almost get like a, once they start to get over your mouth and nose, you almost start to get a little panic going. And you're worried to go underneath because then someone might splash on top of me or step on my face or break my fingers. Maybe the maybe the ball pit at Wisconsin Dells, Ripley's Wisconsin Dells, where I actually go through a tunnel, that might be a little scarier. But this actually feels like it's going to like it's going to eat you, like it's going to swallow you, swallow you whole. Oh my goodness! Look at this. There's an ominous voice counting down, so the performance is beginning soon. Oh, here's the performance. Oh my gosh. It's the performance. Oh, look at the lights there. See some people throwing balls. But yeah, this is pretty mind melting here. Oh my gosh, you got a spotlight. It's the performance, no. It looks like a little heart, a little heart there in, uh, in the balls. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slink down in, into the balls here and enjoy, enjoy the performance. Oh, look at this. The balls actually drop down. These red glowing orbs actually drop down into the ball pit. That's pretty cool. But performance. The performance is, is intense. Wow. Was that the performance? Oh! Oh, they're bouncing! They're bouncing! What the heck? Look at that! Oh my gosh! Oh, look at that! Bouncing up and down in the ball pit. 
What a performance, I say. What a performance. It almost looks like thunderclouds up here. Oh. We have some purple rain. Wow. This is one of the best performance I've ever watched from a ball pit. I think that's, I think that's the end of the performance. The performance is over. Please continue the following exhibition now. Alright, we have safely made it out of the ball pit. Jen decided to uh, to sit that out. You looked like you were like, it was like on you and then there were kids submerged and crying. I'm like, no, I'm claustrophobic just watching. <laughs> Yeah, because the good. people in front of us like jumped in and then the adults like just went all the way under. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. I'm... Oh, silence. I have to enter the heart of the quiet storm, embrace the silence, and try to be present and in the moment. The storm will soon pass. Okay. Shh, quiet, Jen. Jen, quiet. <laughs> oh, here's the quiet storm. It's bubbles. There's like some bubbles, some fog in here as well. I do like the bubbles. Like the bubbles? Shh. You're supposed to be contemplative, not playful. But there's smoke in them. Oh, okay. oh, we're like underneath the layer of fog there. Like in like a swamp in a haunted house. I like popping them with the smoke coming out. I ran out of bubbles. Oh yeah, you can see some of these have this smoke in them. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh a child grabbed me in the dark. <laughs> I just got this. <laughs> yeah, a child grabbed you too? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right, you can remove those shoe covers, Jen. There we Put go. Put them in the shoe cover receptacle. But we're not finished. Got some more fun awaiting us. Look at this. What'd you say? Like a wrecking ball. A wrecking ball? Is that what these are? Wrecking balls? Yeah, like Miley Cyrus. Oh, okay. When she swing it. Do you want to swing it? I don't know if you can swing on them. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is much less chaotic than the ball pit. Even though you're hurling balls in my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. the flying maze here. It's an inflatable maze. Are we actually, are we going through the maze or are we just going past the maze? Oh, we're going into the maze. Get in there, Janet. Don't get lost. Did we find our way out of this maze? I thought I was leading. I don't know, somehow you ended up behind me. All right, I guess we go under here. Where's Jen? There she is. You made it? Yeah. Okay, I was worried I was gonna leave here without learning anything about balloons. Here's the history of inflatable art. Let's start 
all the way back to antiquity <laughs> where the word Penuma was invented. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. We are only in 1488 to 1490. <laughs> Sketches of a life preserver by Leonardo da Vinci. Let's see some of the uh, invention of the Zeppelin in 1899. 1924, the first Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Beginning of the pop art movement in the 50s and 60s. The oil crisis, I'm not sure how that affected balloons. Release of Pink Floyd's Animals album. What does that have to do with balloons? Balloon dog, oh, the balloon dog was invented in 1994. It was that early? I think that there may be like, I think, like this maybe, would be like, I think this is maybe an individual sculpture. Oh, okay. And the uh, debut of the Pop Air Balloon Museum in Rome. Which brings us to the 2024 Let's Fly Balloon Museum in Atlanta. We do have these videos here talking about the history. Oh yeah, the first inflatable structure, the first bounce house. So yeah, definitely learning about the history of balloons in here. This room here is called the Ginjos. So we make our way inside here. Oh, Jen's already already made herself at home in here. Okay, this is pretty. This is pretty fun. It's a weird squeaky noise in here. We make our way. Through these, I guess these are the Ginjos here. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I'm gonna have to put a flashing light warning on this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is even happening in here? Look at these. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Make our way through the forest of Ginjos. Oh my gosh. Are you having fun, Jen? You love these? You got this weird squeaky music here. <laughs> You're hugging him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. The centipede. So it's like being inside an inflated balloon. The sign was saying how it like contorts to its specific environment. I think it's Dexter Splatter Room. The Dexter Splatter Room. <laughs> but yeah, they're saying they they, they I guess they, they travel with this exhibit. They inflate it inside different areas, and it takes the shape of that area. So yeah, kind of like being in a balloon that's inflated in a too small place. All right, and, oh, is this, is this taking us back outside with this tunnel here? All right, and as we step outside, we're greeted by these giant inflatables here. I guess these kind of look like soap bubbles. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. It's gonna be like meander our way through these giant bubbles here. Oh, now we now we wander back inside. <laughs> to head back inside, we have the fountain of eternity here. This inflated fountain. If you look up, oh well, there's a kaleidoscope effect where we have these women covered in balloon suits making an interesting formation there. Huh. The fountain of eternity. So this here is called Spiritus Sonata. 
So we go in. It says it has a kawaii aesthetic, and also apparently the sculpture itself makes music. So we see the face there, and there's like a tube. Oh, and you actually feel the, that's actually sucking in air and creating music with that air. Huh. Kind of reminds me of the pink elephant scene in Dumbo. Oh, it's kind of hypnotic in a way. It's a VR section. I guess people in some sort of VR reality here. Maybe like they're inside a balloon or floating by balloons or something similar. And now we enter Balloon Street. It looks like this is more of a traditional selfie museum in here. All right, this one says, I love. What do you love, Jen? What do you, oh, you love me? Yeah. Referring to me? Balloon. You love balloon? <laughs> oh, look at that. Ah, oh, very cute. Also, here, here. Hold the giant peach, too. You also love peaches? <laughs> All right. Look at this dirty tongue beer. It's really dirty. A little bit, a little bit. Oh no! All right, we got a big giant balloon there. As Jen's gonna head inside. Oh, look at that. You'll all float down here. What's she saying? What? What'd you say? All right, we have some balloon dogs here. I think, I think you can walk them, Jen. Oh. Going for a walk? Here, you got that, grab that leash there. That one's gonna get away. There we go. See you. Oh. You're walking your balloon dogs there? <laughs> you made it! Right, I think this is the inflatable gift shop here. Oh, we have these little guys. We had to like fight through a sea of these guys. Oh, look at this. Little plushy versions of the little balloon guys. Oh yeah, these seem to be the big, uh, the big merch movers here. What were they called? They had some weird name. Oh, I didn't really have a name. This one's a squishy one. As we head back outside, there's even more balloons out here. Oh my gosh. There's a flower bar. I guess you can purchase inflatable flowers here. Yeah, serving some adult beverages here out in this field of balloons. Oh, I didn't know it was coming for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, looks like we exit through the inflatable igloo. Wow, so that was the balloon museum here at the Pullman Yards. And when we were coming in, there was a food festival occurring here. Food festival is gone. It vanished. We so, so we're going to... Oh, it's missing. We're gonna have to it's go get missing, some. Jacob. We're gonna have to go get some food elsewhere. That was quite the intense. That was very intense. Um, Did yeah. you like it? No, I liked it. I loved it. It, it was. was it was like, very. Oh. There was a lot. There was a lot happening at once. I mean, things were literally coming at my face. Yeah, yeah. It was a thousand people, like, a thousand balloons. My hair was like put together when we were there, and now I look like I just went through a war. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this fish. I seriously almost wrecked my car when I saw this fish. It was so big. Anyways, 
<laughs> We're eating here. Came over here to the Atlanta fish market. Because uh, Jen, last time she went through yeah. Atlanta, she said, you gotta come see this giant fish. No, I almost wrecked my car the first time. I was like, Jacob, I almost died because I saw a giant fish. Now look at the size of this thing. I think this is made of metal. Here. Yeah, it's made out of something. But yeah, as you're coming down, as you're coming down the road from that way, like I'm halfway expecting these cars to just smash into each other or, or roll onto the sidewalk as they see this giant fish sticking up from the earth. Can you see how big it is? I mean, I have to pan up a lot, but um, it's a very big fish. <laughs> Where's the biggest fish? Uh, it's in Wisconsin. There's a fishing museum inside of a giant fish. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. I like that its tail is separate. Like part of it is underground. It's got like a, it's got like a, like a like a walkway over top of its tail there. But anyways, we're gonna eat at this restaurant, Atlanta Fish Market because it has a giant fish. Jen said. Yeah, I saw it when I came to see Mark Marin through Atlanta and um, I uh, was driving by trying to find the theater and I was like, Bleh! and I had to like, that was my brake sound. Because <laughs> I saw a giant fish and got distracted. And I said, next time we go to Atlanta, we'll go to that giant yeah. fish and we'll have dinner. I texted you immediately, <laughs> well, not immediately, like when I parked. And I was like, we need to go see the fish. <laughs> awesome, let's see. Uh, you know, you know what they say, if they have a big fish outside, the food inside is probably also excellent. I've never heard anyone say that. <laughs> All right, head into the revolving door. Here, are you behind me, Jen? Yes. Are you waiting for the next capsule? Oh, she's in her own, she's in her own pod there. There we go. Made it? I made it. Yeah, look at this. Got palm trees in here and these real cool lights that look like UFOs. Up here at the front, there's this amazing mural. And look at that, these little, three little clown children there on the mural. And you can see all the fresh fish here. And look at that, even the restroom sign is a fish. Yeah, look at this, right above our table, there's a hammerhead shark. Jen's enjoying some of the some of the bread there. And look at that, we even have like a little porthole, a little porthole on our table. And our food has arrived. Me and Jen got pretty much the same thing, like the broiled seafood it's fish. platter. It's fish. We got the, <laughs> we got that grilled salmon, grilled shrimp, and a crab cake there. Oh, I'm so excited for the crab cake. Excited for the crab cake? It's more than fish. It's a now, Jen, Jen, of Jen did get the mashed potatoes. I opted for some broccoli instead. I got green vegetables and broccoli. So, yeah, very excited. It looks really good. Yeah. All right. A little bit of scallop right there. Where's oh. my scallop? That's excellent. Your scallop's buried. And the crab cake looks super good. Lots of crab. Mostly just crab meat, which is how I like crab cake. Everything seems pretty wonderful. And the salmon. I remember when I bought those crab cakes to make and they were just like all stuffing? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> That's a big shrimp. Very good. How's your food, Jen? I've only had bread so far. You've only had bread? I still have bread in my mouth. Don't fill up on bread. Well, bread's very good. Yeah. And I like it that you don't eat bread because then I get more bread. Yeah. <laughs> have you actually eaten anything? I had a scallop. Is scallop, is scallop good? Yeah, it's maybe like the biggest scallop I've ever had. It's big, but is it good? It's delicious. <laughs> All right, here at the Atlanta Fish Market, I am a member of the Clean Plate Club. Me too. What she's not telling you is that is that is that I ate some of her food. He ate half of my salmon and half of my veggies because I filled up on bread. <laughs> don't don't ever fill up on bread. I or, love bread. Or you won't be a member of the Clean Plate but Club. I am because of you. You I, are my 
Um, I, I, I swooped in and saved the day. Yes, good job. <laughs> All right, a wonderful seafood dinner underneath a wonderfully massive fish. All right, so that was our day in Atlanta. We're gonna be driving back here, headed home in a minute, but uh, definitely found the Balloon Museum. Very interesting. It was intense. It was intense, there was a lot of people. I think, because we showed up um, there was a food festival going on. I think people from the food festival were filtering into the balloon museum. There's so many people. And it got, it got really, really intense. Some of the rooms, so like, you know, you're in a room where there's like things that you're allowed to punch. So there's like, you're in a room and there's like a hundred people in the room just like <laughs> punching. Like while you're like trying to like take photos no, and video. I mean like things flew at me. And yeah. Like I had to be like. <laughs> you had to be on guard. Yeah. Like it, was, it was pretty intense. I thought the ball pit was going to be the end of it. So I was going to get in and then I'm glad I didn't because that would have been like my whole day. Like it looked like it was hard for you to move around. Yeah, it was hard. If, like, yeah, Jen was worried about worried about her knees. Yeah. In the in the, so, in the ball ultimately, pit. Ultimately I'm glad I didn't go in because then I ended up bashing things. So not my knees. So like boom boom boom. Like those squeaky yeah, guys. Yeah, it was, it was actually a bit much larger than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um there I was mean a, when we went for Jurassic World it was only like five. Yeah rooms. the Jurassic World the Jurassic World is really cool, but it is yeah. kind of a shorter experience. Oh, it was super cool. Yeah. Like, I think those were the, like the best animatronic dinosaurs I've seen. Like, yeah, anywhere. but there's only like maybe like like maybe four or five rooms that you did. Yeah. And they just kept going with the Balloon Museum, and it was really cool. I thought the art was cool. Uh, I thought the interactive elements were cool. The ball pit was insane. That's probably I do. Like I said, I've <laughs> done a lot of ball pits for this channel, no, and that I may was, be the most insane ball pit. I was scared. Like you seemed like you were overwhelmed with like I, I was it like was? I'm claustrophobic. Just well, like, I had a recent bad experience with the ball yeah, pit. Yeah, no, that's why I was I got worried. Stuck in a tunnel in a ball pit. This wasn't that bad, but it was like. I remember, like, before we even got in, like, the, the, the lady in front of us, like, jumped in, and she just, like, went, like, yeah. uh, she just, like, uh, vanished into the ball. Yeah, there were kids that were just screaming and crying. I because... would, like, I if I had, like, a young child that was only a couple years old, I would be really nervous. Yeah. Because they were just, like, sinking to the bottom. I know! And then they were like, ah! And you just see, like, yeah, a hand kid, coming see kids up. crying. And like... then some of the parents seem to, like, not realize their kid. I'm like, am I, like, the lifeguard here? Like, what is happening? Yeah, maybe need some more lifeguards. But, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Everything. The charcoal one was my favorite. My nails are I think still, I'm like, still, gray. even after eating at that nice restaurant, I'm still covered in charcoal. Yeah. I don't know if charcoal was that important enough for to make it as messy as it was. I mean, I think the point is it's supposed to like make marks, like make art on the wall. Yeah, I didn't realize that when it when it bounces around. But then you like you're done. Your hands are completely covered in soot, and there's like one bottle of hand sanitizer. It's <laughs> black just from everyone like touching it with their charcoal hands. So yeah, I thought it was really fun. I I thought it was a lot. Like <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that because most of them are just like a room or two. So yeah, and dinner dinner very nice here at <gasps> it the was so good. Uh, Atlanta Fish Market. No, I was happy you took me because I saw the big fish and almost rear-ended a car. I've never I seen that. Big, I've heard of the big fish before. I just for some reason never made it out to this part of Atlanta to check it out. So and Buckhead is its own like little entity here. It's yeah, it's called. I think it's we're thinking we're technically in Atlanta. Buckhead's like a neighborhood. Okay. In Atlanta, like a sub like, part. Yeah. Of. The Atlanta experience. Yeah, Buckhead seems nice. I, I like the area around um, where the balloons were too. Like, yeah, I don't driving know. through there. Well, I don't yeah, know. I what don't know. Called, not, it's but... Pullman Yards. I guess like an old like train yard that they do like pop up events and and, and cool stuff at. Yeah, that's a cool place too. Yeah. Yeah, I like exploring Atlanta since you know I've only been here like a handful of times. I was here the one time with you. Yeah. And then the one time I went on my own and went to like to Atlanta and yeah. stuff. And then today. Yeah, so definitely we check out, you know, about three, it's about three hours from where we live. So yeah, definitely open to checking out more stuff in Atlanta. So if you know stuff in Atlanta, things going on, places you want to, uh, me to check out leave a comment in the comment section no i like the fact like it still bewilders my mind that um it's only three hours from the house to get to georgia in general i mean no okay oh, it's like, from the house it's like a half hour to georgia it's like an hour. <laughs> yeah, not, not about an hour to georgia from to georgia like Live, that's from, insane from like i'm used to like having to drive through like all of pennsylvania to oh even, yeah you to get grew to... up where jen grew up in buffalo it was closer to go to 
another country. Yeah. It was closer to go to Canada than it was to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> I think that's why I like Mosey so much. Because you grew up next to next to Canada. Yeah, and Canadian rock and stuff. Yeah. Like Rush? <laughs> Everyone loves Rush from Buffalo. Uh, Them and tragically hit. I mean, Rush is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, me and Jen are going to go listen to some Rush right now. Yeah. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, That's haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Check out Jen's channel and uh, Jenny, Penny Jenny Penny on YouTube. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. I'm doing personalized messages on Cameo. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track. The fish in the water. This balloon in the water. This giant fish. Oh, yeah, in I the guess air. the fish was not in the water. He was just like sitting beside a restaurant. Until right. next time, my friends. This it's one's the in the bag. In the balloon fish hybrid. In the balloon fish! <laughs>